Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be installing Metasploitable 2 in VirtualBox. So if you guys are new, please like, subscribe, share, and hopefully you're watching these videos in order to get the best bang for the buck to set up a hacking lab at home, on your laptop, on your desktop. So let's go ahead and go out to Google, our fancy Google, all right? So we can just type in Metasploitable, Metasploit, Metasploitable 2. I already downloaded it as you've seen, but what you can do is go out to Source, uh, SourceForge and you can just download it right here. And once you download it, it should start downloading. And if it doesn't, obviously you can see the countdown and it's a almost a gig file, it's a zip file. So I wanna go ahead and cancel this because I already have it. All right, so let's go ahead and find it. I think it's in the Hacking Labs VM right here. So here it goes right here, perfect. So now let's go open up, oh, not that, sorry. Let's open up VirtualBox Manager, all right? So let's go ahead and click on new, because we're gonna type in, uh, create a new, I'm just gonna put MS2 for Metasploitable 2, all right? So uh, where is this one running? That one's running, all right. So what I wanna do is the addition is Linux and it's gonna be like 64 gigs. A uh, 64 bit uh, other Linux. Let's just do, where's other? Oh. Oracle, other other Linux all the way at the bottom. This new one is pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, it's, it's new. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. This is fine, 512, one process. This is all fine, default to fine. Uh, this is all fine. So I want to say use existing, uh, use existing hard drive. So the menu definitely changed from the one I have on my local machine, like on my machine that I do a lot of my videos on. And maybe I don't have to update it because this is a little interesting. So use an existing. So what we're going to do is attach, we're going to attach the Metasploitable uh, hard drive. So let's go ahead and click on add. And let's go ahead and go to documents. In my case, Hacking Labs 20, uh, 2023, Metasploitable, Metasploitable. And this is my uh, VMDK or v, uh, uh, VMD, okay? So that's perfectly fine, or it's a VMDK. So the VMDK is from VMware, right? So go ahead and choose this, okay? So let's go ahead and click on next. That's perfectly fine. And now it's here. Okay, but remember, we, we have that InfoSec PAT network. So if we booted this up, this will not be able to communicate with our Kali machine. So let's go ahead and make some modifications. Make sure you do the same. If you're following along, make sure you make the appropriate changes in your Metasploitable in order for your Kali to reach your Metasploitable machine. Just a food for thought. All right, so let's go down to network. Go down to NAT network and InfoSec PAT network, okay? That's my case. Whatever you name yours, you know, put it on that network. All right, so let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. We'll let this boot. And what we'll do here, we'll do net discover. And net discover, oh, actually, let me cancel that. Now let's do dash H. So anytime you don't know a command or a switch or anything like that, you can just do the dash. I know it, but I wanna show you guys how to use these tools as well if I'm using something, right? So what we have to do is put a, we're gonna do a net discover, even though we can log in with, with the username and password into Metasploitable. I think it's MSF admin, MSF admin, but we'll see that in a second. But net discover is a tool that we can, discover any ARP requests, like anything that's going on on your network, it can start discovering that, right? So we can do like range. So for an example, if we do net discover dash R, 
And uh, what is it? Uh, I don't remember. Is that bad or what? So I want to do if config eth zero. So all right. So net net discover dash r for range ten dot zero dot two hundred dot zero slash twenty four. Okay. So we'll let that cook. And oh, we found something. So maybe it's dot five. I would assume that's the next one. But just let's go verify. Let's go ahead and X out of here. Let's make this bigger. I don't know, we can't really make this bigger, but if you can look closely, we have MSF admin, MSF admin to get started. So let's go ahead and let's click in here, MSF admin, enter, MSF admin, enter. And now if we do is if config, so it's 10.0.200.5. So the net discover was correct. All right, now let's get out of here. Uh, alt shift, there we go. So it's alt control. All right, so now technically we have a somewhat of a lab set up. So now what we can do, we can go further, but this is just getting Metasploit set up, right? So now for an example, you know, let's go, you know, see if it's there's web services running. And this is like when it gets into the, some of the, the uh, pen testing and hacking type stuff. So we can just hit that and we can see it says Metasploitable too. So PHP, and now you can start scanning with Nmap and start doing different uh, uh, engagements or different kinds of hacks or different kinds of techniques and practice or whatever. So the next video, I am gonna show you a basic hack on Metasploitable 2. I'm not gonna do it here because this is strictly for installing and getting it set up. And the next one will try to exploit some of the vulnerabilities, how to find them and all that stuff. So that will be our first hacking video in this little series, right? So stay tuned folks, please like, subscribe and share and leave a comment in the description below or you know, in the comments below. And if you have any questions, please hit me up on Discord. Discord is a lot quicker for me because people try to hit me up on like Instagram. Instagram is just like a, you know, just a boatload of, uh, of information or like random people emailing me on there and it's hard for me to get to it. So just hit me up on Discord and I'd probably respond quicker. Just join my Discord and join a community. And maybe if I can't answer it right away, there's someone else that can help you. So that's the beauty of it, All right? So join the community. All right, so see you, see you soon, and next time we will be hacking. Thank you.